Welcome to Fortune's Hiding Down Under TV. We are back with another show. I don't know why I'm smiling because I'm fucking pissed off. But yeah, it was another. We're going to do two game reviews today. So we've got the Bayern Leverkusen game or Bayern never losing um, <laughs> first uh, from Thursday or Friday morning for us. And then we've also got the Fulham game. So, boys, obviously, it's been a very uh, tough, tough end of the week for all of us. But. Uh, as your, as, your, as your week started, apart from football, apart from, mate. apart from the football, it's been all right. Bit, felt a bit fucking dusty today. Had a few beers last night, so it's been a bit of a struggle today. Not not helped by. So you um, managed to watch that game. I did actually, yeah. and, and the best thing I can say about it is I wasn't was pissed. pissed. Yeah. <laughs> um, which didn't really make me feel any better when I woke up this morning and remembered about it. Um, but now it's been all right. Yeah. Apart, apart from the football, Dave. Uh, you, you, I've never seen you so pissed off, bro. <laughs> like, I, I, I we walked in, and I, I've <laughs> never seen him. Like, he's very animated. Yes. Uh, more than usual. So he's yeah. got a few things to get off your chest as well about um, yesterday. But well, I think the thing is with living in Australia, right? You have got these Sunday night games, mm-hmm. and we all work through the week. Yeah. And um, you're not getting much sleep when you stay up for it. Mm. And when you see a pile of shit, you're low on sleep, and you've got to suck that up for the rest of the week and push through, ain't you? Yeah. Right now, I'm um, I'm not happy. I'm not happy with the way that the last two games pretty much are is make or break in it. Yeah. We're in the last stages of of a major competition. Mm-hmm. We kind of the script. We we gave it a good effort. But this kind of script has gone as badly as it possibly can. Yeah. And you're looking to bounce back in the league. And actually, you know, six was on the fucking table this week. I, know, yeah. I can't United believe dro- it. United dropped the points as well. I cannot believe that six was on the table for us. Because it, it seems crazy. It doesn't seem like yeah. we, we deserve to be in touching distance of that just now. But there you go. You fluff your lines. And, yeah. and that'll probably be about the flavour of my conversation today. <laughs> anyway. This has probably been... Uh, like you hear people say they struggle to get over to the London Stadium to watch games now because they're fucking fed up and bored of it. This was probably the first time I was driving over here going, for fuck's sake, what, what am I going to talk mm-hmm. about today? It's, it's, it's a struggle because I'm not enjoying it. Um, and as you say, getting up for these games as early as we do, it's, it's hard because you know, the, you know the blueprint every time. Yeah. You know what, like an absolute fucking mug last night, I, I only remembered the... the uh, clocks went back in back at home, and I thought the game was midnight. And when I realised it was eleven, it, I was fucking well happy. I was like, "This, this yeah. is great. You know, we've got a chance to go six. It's a relatively reasonable time as far as kickoff times go. Um, you know, that hour look on it positively. And I'm actually looking forward to the game, forgetting everything yeah. that I fucking know about the way we are. Yeah, yeah. Fucking stupidly, shit, shit you end show. up in that position where you feel and then like you're you sit down and watch it, it and you're like. <laughs> What, what the fuck? I'm finding what myself. I'm finding myself fast forwarding games now. Like, <laughs> like I actually watched this morning. Um, I didn't actually stay up for it. I tried, um, but I woke up this morning. I watched it, and I was fast forwarding because I fucking it bores the mm. bores me to tears, mate. Yeah. Um, Friday morning, we're going to Leverkusen first. Yeah. What do you reckon? Of Leverkusen, <laughs> just a yeah. game in general. I think. Look. Uh, look, I'll start and be pragmatic, right? Mm. I mean, we were always going to go there and defend, whether we want to, whether yeah. we don't. I don't necessarily think it was the wrong idea. Guess mm-hmm. what? I agree with you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and, and yeah, I think I you go I into think. that with a game plan. And it was a game plan that kind of nearly came off. You look at the start and you go, those two bloody yellow cards, that's a little bit edgy. And yeah. you know, Stupidly, Pakatar bloody takes the bait and, and gets that one early, and you, straight away you're kind of like, well, even if we do get through this, we've got to then go and beat him at home mm-hmm. without, with, him. without him. Without him, um, possibly. And, and then obviously Emerson goes as well. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry for Emerson's one. Yeah, it was rough. yeah, I do. Yeah, it was rough. I do, but it's just like you he's, look a, at he's a defender, and he's a defender. Like you, you're always going to be put in a position where you could potentially get a yellow card. Mm. So I, I don't really blame it, and I do think it was a, a shit decision. I don't think it was a yellow card. Um, <clears throat> I'm not angry with him. I can see why it's a yellow card because you, you step on someone's foot and it just doesn't look good, does it? It's, yeah, but the way he, he won the ball and mm. it, the balls are fucking round, so it's, yeah, he it's just ended up on his foot. Do you know what I mean? It's just gone over the top of it. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> <coughs> but the biggest thing that he will be a massive, massive miss for us on um, Friday morning. Pakitar, um I, I know you want to get in on him, um, and that's fine. 
I also, I, I've always said with Pakatar, you know what you're getting with him. You know you're going to get a bit of petulance, you know what I mean? Was it the time? Was it the game? Mm -hmm. Probably not. But he's also someone that does pick up a yellow card. So even though, even though he was up for a game ban, if he did get that yellow card, there's always, you're always going to look to see if he gets a yellow. He, I, I, for me, I saw that coming as well. As soon as it was said. Yeah, like, if, uh, so, totally saw it coming. Yeah. Because he actually plays, he like, I, I think he personally likes playing on the edge. I really do. Yeah, like, yeah. He nearly got sent off against England yeah. like, after 12 it. minutes. And it. he ended up getting man of the match. Like, I actually think he plays on it. Um, but yeah, so the game itself, I think the game plan, I've always said some games need that, that like, low block, try and just fucking see something out. And if there was a game to do it, it's probably against them, just to take something back home. Um, mm. The... I'm just a bit pissed about how we actually conceded the two goals. Absolutely, and that's my gripe. Yeah. I mean, what we go a hundred plus fucking corners and set a new Premier League record <laughs> of not conceding at corners. Yeah, yeah. Then since that got broken, I think we conceded our very next two fucking corners after that, yeah. and then we seem to have been shit at defending corners ever since. Yeah. It's like you get. <laughs> You know, the one thing you kind of tolerate the boring, pragmatic football for is is being solid in defence, and and that at times this season has really let us down. Mm. We haven't kept a clean sheet in fuck knows how long right now. Yeah. Katie Price has had more clean sheets than us, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was January. It's true. From memory. Um, yeah, but she's got her own airbags. Nil nil game against was it Brighton? Yes, that, that was, was the that last, was last one. Clean yeah, I was in England. I've been yeah. home a while now. Um, and and you're right, like. I was I was still a bit pissed off with, with how we approached the game. I, I'm I'm fucking fine with with defending, and and we did defend pretty well. But you look at the stats from them that game. We had one shot. Was we had one shot. Right? Yeah, thirty. Like and and look, don't get me wrong. Kudas puts that early chance away. <coughs> yeah. It could have been very different, and and I'm, I wouldn't have expected us to to play expansively because we would have got picked no. apart. But we didn't even look like we were. Trying to do anything, and I agree with that. And that's why I say there's a difference between the right approach and the mm. right execution. Yeah, we didn't execute the plan very well because mm. our midfield didn't step up and carry yeah. the ball out. Yeah, we, ne um, we never got out, did we? And again, no. I'm gonna have a pop at Packetar from the last couple of games. Mm -hmm. Right when you need your key player or 85 million dollar or million pound man to step up, mm. grow up, and be the leader that he's supposed to be. Those are the games where you want him to, you know, yes, get all dirty and make your little niggly tackles and, and be involved in getting that ball, but you want him to be part of the transition to get you out of defence into attack. But it, but he's never been anything different to what he is now. And so he's never said, as far as I'm aware, he's never said that he's a leader. He's just always played the way that he plays. So are, we, are you expecting <coughs> too much, putting too much on him? To expect him to do that, and also knowing what he's like, and also uh, he, he could be off to city in the season. Well, he might not. Not that he don't give a fuck, and I'm not saying <laughs> that because I do think he does. But as I said, he's got monkeys for brains. Well, you know what I mean, like, but that's part of the issue, right? Yeah. If he's off to city, you want to see a player with strong leadership skills, right? Because there's not one Man City player that ain't a leader. Well, at not the moment, captain. I'm not saying they're yeah, all, but yeah. they're all leaders, right? They're all responsible adults, which. I've said this a few times. Pakistan needs to grow the fuck up mm. for me. Yeah. Um, the shit that he gets involved in. I think we're the right manager, mate. I think you'd yeah. it. Yeah, and maybe that's and it. Think, maybe that's yeah. right. Maybe like, Pep can look at that and go, oh, "I can do something." With exactly. That. Yeah. Um, or you he might he go. Likes Pep, he? I'm not sure about this behaviour here. Yeah. Pep, Pep. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nice little cuddle. Um, yes. Yeah. So it, it was shit, though, wasn't it? And the minute the minute they scored that first goal. You just knew that we just don't very, get a second. Very, That's very, all very good thinking. chance that we're going to get a second one. They, they knocked it about so well. I, it was just like all I kept thinking about was Tim Starting built this team. Mm. That's all I kept thinking. I was like, he, he bought them players in. We didn't bring Pakatar in. No, but Leverkusen. Leverkusen, mate. Oh right, sorry. Yeah, yeah. I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. So. <laughs> I was, that's, that was in my mind yeah. and then at the end of the game when we'd lost I know you dug it out about Tim smiling or whatever <laughs> but I looked at it another joking. way I looked at it another way and thought he's probably thinking fucking hell we're nearly there he's nearly gone I can actually fucking start yeah. doing something with this club now you know what I mean mm -hmm. like 
I, th- I think both your view and my view of that's wrong. I think he was just smiling because he was around old friends and they were kind of patting each other on the back and going, oh, well done, lads, and, and the camera caught him at the wrong time. I don't think there was much more than that in it, to be honest. I'm a, it's my opinion. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm just, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Simple as that. Like, yeah, yeah. That's how I'm looking at it. Yeah. He might, he's probably but, right, mate, but I'm a Roman, so, <laughs> yeah, that's why I looked at it like that. I'd prefer to think of my view than yours Well, in, in that way. Um, but, yeah, we lost. We take it back to London Stadium on Friday. Mm-hmm. Any hope? No. No. Not, not with the players we've got out. No. I, I think, Ed, you know, any, everything that went wrong in that game, that could have gone wrong, did. You know, 2-0 t- is a shit result. 1-0 one one wouldn't have been too bad if, we, if we've still got Emerson uh, and Bakatar. Um, but 2-0 with, with those two out and possibly, possibly Bowen. Bowen as well and Dinos looks yeah. like he's out because he, he played injured yesterday as well um, did he start so, injured? huh? did he start yeah, yeah, yeah there was talk that he weren't even going to play oh, so right. the thing is the, the way that we're defending and, and the way they're played they're going to score they're going to score at least if he sits back right? so, so we he, need four goals he can't if, sit back <laughs> it's not going to happen he just can't you say, but, yeah, but you say that, when does he really go out and fucking attack? In the first eight minutes yesterday. <laughs> no, honestly. No, we did, and he, yeah, set yeah, out, yeah. he set out to attack Fulham, right? We, we were and good for six minutes yesterday. We're having two strikers. And then he shit himself. Yeah, having, and then we go back to fucking tight. No, nah, well, the thing, Tony Gale even pointed it out, right? He pointed out the gaps and the rhythm of how Fulham were going to get through us. And every <coughs> time he said it, they were doing it, right? We're not used to having two strikers, and we left a gaping gap in the midfield. And that's how they caught us on attack. They got bloody Pakatar pissing around on the ball like he does, which is, I've got more gri- actually got more gripe with Pakatar's performance last night than I do in the, the Labour Cruiser one. He gave away the ball 22 times. I mean, turned over possession to the opposition. The first one led to the goal when we'd actually come out of the blocks and started we really started well. really well, yeah. What was Antonio doing blasting that over the bar? Oh, I don't know. Souffal can't fucking shoot yeah. to save his life yeah. and scared to. Um, yeah. But Antonio should have just dinked that over the fucking top of the keeper. What, and that's why did he hit it as hard as he did? And they were scared. In that eight minutes, Fulham were backing off and they were fucking scared. But you know what? Marco Silva had his number, mate. In the end, he did. But, you know, you wonder how they go. If that goes 1-0 up to (laughs) us and we keep peppering them like we were... Yeah. You know, do they... Does that turn into, like, a 5-0, like, our away defeat did for them? I think he was close to, mate. Fabianski made some fucking cracking saves. Yeah, he did. No, I'm talking about the other way round, mate. I'm saying if we go in 1-0, the way we were at them in that first eight minutes, you've got them with the fear factor, not us with the fear factor. Because it's all about momentum. I guarantee if we'd gone 1-0 up yesterday, we would have gone low blocking. Yeah, it might have ended up 1-0. I saw it twice over that back at home when I went to the Villa and Burnley. Yeah. Does it every fucking time. Um, and the fucking D- Dinos reverted back to tight, didn't he? It did be going far too well for him in recent yeah. weeks. Well, he, I, I think he's really picked up his game in the last f- four games or so. But as I just said, like he has four good games and he has an absolute yeah. fucking ricket. And, um, and he, and he, what he, a he, he, cost, he cost goals. His, his mistakes yeah. always lead to goals. It's not like he makes like mistakes and, and gets away with them. It's like Phillips. You know what I mean? Like He's just got... This big fuck up in him that mm. is going to be plastered all over the back pages. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, but yeah, they scored their first goal. Good finish, to be fair. But he was gifted it. Um, yeah, I it actually was. think Aguirre yeah. should have tracked him a little bit better. If I'm being honest, I think Aguirre kind of stopped, and then he was on the back foot. So sat the keeper down, didn't he? He mm. did, mate. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, that was that. But obviously Antonio missed his chance, and then. Um, yeah, Pakatar. Pac- Fabianski made some cracking saves. He did, make He did. I'm really sick of say. fucking saying our goalkeeper couldn't get man a match. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's telling me too much, th- man. There was another couple of chances, wasn't there? Sue Fowler had another, another shot, and someone had a, a header just before half time. Oh, that was James Ward Prowse. Yeah. James Ward Prowse. Yeah, well, it was actually a good move for him, but yeah. I'm kind of fucked off of his game at the moment as well he's he non-existent seem, mate he, he doesn't just, be good for anything oh, but corners man. and fucking well not even free kicks are yeah. that good at the moment fucking he ain't scored a free kick for over two years they, no. they were all fucking shit yesterday there's not anyone that had a decent game no and that yeah. was it it was like Fabianski did oh yeah <laughs> do you know it, it was almost like they were trying too hard and they were, they were like so 
under pressure. If there was a, it was a big pot of pressure. I thought, mm. a big pressure cooker for them all. Um, yeah. You know, Emerson was tripping over his own feet. Um, Kudus was, you know, there, there was spells towards that end where he was really trying and he was, you know, running around the bloody country roads to get to uh, where he could have gone 10, 10 miles down the he end looks after there the, the time. I've never seen, he looks after the ball so well. He does. Like, yeah. He does, but he didn't yesterday, did he? Well, he did better than anyone else. Yeah, yeah he did. I, I disagree. Well, I, I really thought the do. decision making was was not there. He was starting to look like Ben Rama in his runs, and when the defender was getting close, he was like, "Oh, shall I go left? Shall I go right?" And then it's bang tackled, mm. um, which is unlike him. It's really unlike him. Yeah, he looks low in confidence at the moment. To be honest, that's what yeah. I reckon. Uh, it's a bit like how I feel. <laughs> um, <laughs> what What do you think of Danny Ings yesterday? Well, what was he working with? I mean, not he not, was, exactly, not, not existent. Not existent. Like, he he just, blasted one over the bar yeah. as well. But what um, I would have rather have seen out of Danny Ings, right, is a 20, 30 minute cameo. Yeah. You know, something where he can come on and give something to a game. I, yeah. I don't think the answer was throw him in from the start him in. Yeah. Um, and put him up alongside Antonio, who pretty much had. Like Antonio's he was, never played he was so far wide, strike, right? but he was so far wide anyway. He was yeah. getting close to him to be effective. Yeah, yeah. yeah. because was that's just, where he feels comfortable. Yeah. That's where he played for fucking yeah. I don't know how many years. It was just fucking shite. It's really this is fucking. Oh, we we apologise. This ain't the greatest fucking uh, show we've ever done. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, then they get their other goal. Pereira again comes mm-hmm. in, yeah. fucking lovely finish. They just looked clinical, didn't they? Really, yeah. do you know what I mean? Like. Yeah. That's walked it in, didn't they? <laughs> yeah, Wobi takes it out wide, crosses it in, nice little slot home. Um, there was one bit of, um, I'm, <laughs> there was one glimmer of hope. We used an actual fucking youth team player, yeah. academy player. Yeah. Uh, so, George Earthy, oh, um, on, George. feel for your mate, but fantastic to get, that, I'm sure that was his first so well done on that but unfortunately I hope you're feeling better um, but he looked good when he came on as he well he did yeah it's a great three the, minutes the, the, the way he fucking just glide, glided around the pitch yeah. I was watching how he was like moving it was, it was a bit foden yeah, yeah. you know what I mean yeah. like it, yeah. <laughs> I know it's three minutes. I mean, well, but you, you, you're looking for any, anything, anything that, that was yeah. fucking good in that game. You noticed, and, and him coming on, you know, it sounds ridiculous that we're talking about three minutes of a Cameo, kid's yeah. baby, but he looked better than anything we'd seen for the previous fucking eight, eighty minutes or yeah. whatever it was. He looked he different on. to what we've had for a long time. Um, maybe, maybe look, I think I'm right with what I'm saying. I do actually think this crop of players could be something special, mm. mate. Yeah, like, they're not going to get the chance on Demois, though, are they? Well, there's only fucking few games left, and I tell you what, if we go out to Leverkusen and we lose to Palace next week, we might as well fucking use them. Yeah, well, that, and that's the thing, though. We've we've got that games coming up in the league. I don't, I don't know where we're going to get points from. Um, Palace, I think Luton, we'd, we'd be Chelsea. Lo- we'd be lucky. We'd be lucky with with six or seven more points, I reckon. Palace Luton. just won at Anfield, so yeah. Luton are fighting yeah. for their lives. Yeah, Leverkusen. Chelsea are going to be fucking up and that's going to that's going to piss. Chelsea are shit, but they're going to beat us. They're going to finish above us. Yeah, too, I yeah. Say. Three three games in hand and four. Oh, points. I think we can finish ninth or tenth at this rate. We will. And to be fair, that's that's what we've we've said for fucking months. Um, yeah. That that sixth you know, place was as how, you say up for grabs, but we've been in the fourth position for most ooh. of the year. Like. It's not a false position if you hold that line and then you take your chances. Mm. Last night was our chance and we bottled it. But if we bottled it every single every single time we've had a chance to go into that top six. Um, no, back we, in December we, we, we didn't, we but lately we have. Yeah. How many games we, we won this year? We drew with Brighton yeah, when we could have done it. We drew with Palace when we could have done it. Sheffield United. We drew with Sheffield United when we could have yeah. done Burnley. it. Burnley. Four, four times. Burnley. Villa. Yeah, fuck me, man. Yeah, we're just not killing them off. I don't know. The, 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 we said it last week that the next two games are crucial, but uh, next two games are crucial, aren't they? <laughs> I, I don't know. The only reason I want Europe next year is not for that fucking Scottish ball bag, but for the next one who comes in. Yeah. So he's got that sort of like lure of European football for players to come in because we we don't get Kudus and Pakatai if we ain't got Europe. No. Um, and I can't see him sticking around if we don't have it as well. 
Um, Pakatar still got a gambling issue. No one knows what the fuck's going on mm. there at the moment. But I tell you what, at the moment, if you if you're Pep. Obviously, he's a clever man. He knows that he'll probably get the best out of Pakatar. I wouldn't fucking buy Pakatar at the moment. <laughs> That's kind of what I was saying earlier. Yeah, I'm, not yeah. sure, I'm not sure Pepper touch him watching yeah. what's currently going on. But unless you, unless they've already got a deal in place and he's like, oh, I'm just going to fucking play Somebody now. else But who will. knows? Somebody else will. But if we get rid of him, we've got 85 mil for Tim to take some bags of cash on his We're, we're, we're going to need a big fucking rebuild, I think. I, I honestly think we're, we're going to we'll go out on on Friday morning, I think we'll finish fucking tenth. Dejected as fuck, mate. Um, you know, and and then you take you take Pakatar out of that team. Kudos, will, I think will stick around for another season. But yeah. but you look at where you got Barcelona rebuild. are tracking him now, you, mate. You, you, you want to replace the whole fucking defence, mate? Creswell's going. Or yeah. Connor will be going. Um, Soufal's now saying that he don't really want to sign a contract yeah. enough to be, be success. Uh, Danny Ings, you can see going as well. Yeah. Um, you can't keep relying on Antonio. Keep him Antonio's in the squad. thirty-four. He will still be in a squad yeah. of sixty. So you've got you've got Bowen, Kudus, Kudus, Alvarez, Ward Prowse. <sighs> maybe maybe not even Ward Prowse. Those three, those three would be if, if you're talking about ambition and wanting to kick on. And you think of, and Ben Johnson. Yeah, you'd, if you'd, you'd want to replace everyone else. Fucking hell, man. That's some rebuild, man. It is. Oh. But otherwise, we're just going to keep coming back to this. And, and I know it, it's fucking... It, it's projected more because of the way Moyes handles the team. But this, this has been coming for fucking two years. I'm fucked off, mate. I'm, I, I'm over it. I, I just went gone. I just want to see a change now. I want to see different ideas. I want to see a different approach to games. I just want to see something different. Mm. I'm fucking sick of it. And... Yes. And then when we're, we're getting fucking dicked by Leverkusen, Skamaka's fucking banging them in Armfield. I know. It's fucking ridiculous. They were, they were, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah. Just, I, yeah, I can't say anything positive about that from my <coughs> perspective. You know, he, he's, he wasn't a bad player. We all knew he wasn't a bad player. How did we let him to get, get to that? Um, Haller wasn't a bad player, you know. And, 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 and we're in this Anderson's position going now, to Juventus now. Where the only fucking... We let him go for three million. Yeah. You know, we've we've got Danny Ings who's scored goals everywhere he's gone. Doesn't do it here. We've got fucking Antonio, and that's been Moise's fucking planet Get out. for for years. And and it's because of the his fucking stubbornness that we're now in a position where we've we've only got a limited number of players. We've got a shit and aging squad. Oh, I'm fucking pissed off. Oh, oh pissed yeah, off. I'm done. I will. You're never going to be done with it, but I'm over it now. I'm fucked off. I'm. Yeah, I can't even get. I can't even get fucking excited. I, I just I ain't got the happiness for it. I really don't. As soon as I walk out of this room, I'll be fine because I won't fucking think about it. But as soon as I start talking about it, especially at the moment, I'm yeah. like, fucking hell, what am I doing? The, the thing that really fucking pisses me off is that I, I reckon this season we've played well. A game that I've actually fucking enjoyed watching about four times. Yeah, and that's it. And look at last year. Yeah, I'm not being funny. We, were, we nearly got relegated, mm-hmm. and then on the way to Europa Conference, it was only the last three games until we were safe. Yeah. Then on the way to Europa League, we was playing IB for FC, um, <laughs> Lana Carrera, Paul. I'm fucking cold. You know what I mean? Yeah. And Iceland yeah. versus Tesco's. Like, and then we played Florentina, who their best team, their best player was Amrabat. Yeah. He goes to United, can't even get a game now. Mm-hmm. Like, yes, it was an amazing time. We fucking had the best time in that pub. Yeah. Like, it was brilliant. Won't swap it for the world, but fuck me, the football has been dire for two fucking years. S- since the beginning of uh, 2022, because it, it, even the build up to that semi final against Frankfurt, we were shit in the league and we somehow, yeah. we somehow kept on the seventh place. He should have gone before the World Cup. Even the games that were winning, I remember it's fucking about that. enjoyable. Like, that, um, what, what was the game where they had a the fucking goal disallowed. Wolves. Oh, yeah. Like, it wasn't a fucking enjoyable game to watch, really. Nah, it was a getaway one, wasn't it? The Burnley game that we won in the last minute was fucking horrible. Luton, when we we should have given them a penalty. But... <laughs> Arsenal game was good. Arsenal, Brentford... But you're picking your brains, aren't you? 
Arsenal, Brentford, Brighton, Freiburg, Brighton. Even the Man United game. Wolves at home. Wolves at home, yeah. Man United game. Yeah. Well, when we were sitting in here. Oh, second half of Spurs oh. away. <laughs> I'll give it that. Even that, but the first half was the worst. Chelsea at home. Fo- worst football you've ever seen. Chelsea at home. Yeah, but Chelsea is shit. Yeah. Um, look, cool. we are where we are. We do have a quarter final on Friday. Friday morning, Thursday well, we're night. We're participating. In one. <laughs> yeah, we are. Yeah. We're, we're just part of yeah. that party, aren't we? Yeah, we, we've just given them a. They'll a field, turn, they'll turn we've just given them a field to play in. They'll turn up absolutely steaming, covered in fucking beer, and beat us fucking And still beat I'll tell you what. When I was looking at them things, uh, someone put up on um, an Instagram post of it, and it, she, uh, girl from back home, and she's put it up, and it, it was all the crowd when they went onto the pitch, and yeah, she yeah. was like, "Just one." Please, just one of these fans have COVID. Just give us <laughs> half a chance. And I was like, just then one of the players would get yeah. it. And I was like, fucking, like that, that's terrible when that's the way we're thinking about fucking things. Because then I, I thought, yeah, she's fucking right. You know what yeah. I mean? And I'm like, I shouldn't be thinking that. Yeah. I should be thinking, no, nah, we'll be all right. But yeah, I've got no hope. I've got zero no, I, I have hope. They're going to turn up and do at our place exactly what they did at theirs. Because the, we've showed them absolutely nothing. That would make them even fucking think twice about us being a threat to them. Nah. Alonso might even stay at home. Yeah. No. Nah. <laughs> he might even play. Yeah. <laughs> he might. Do. Fucking come in and bang it in from halfway. Yeah. That's right. Well, I think that that was a fucking tough show, I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. That was a tough lads. Um we are missing someone today, Nathan. I just wanna wish you a speedy recovery, mate. Um he had a little uh trip to hospital today so hopefully everything went well mate um, always think about your ear um, if you haven't liked and subscribed please do so no one will um, be liking it after this <laughs> no, <laughs> yeah if there was a dislike button I think we'd probably get quite a few today <laughs> yeah it's hard it's hard to do these shows at the moment um, and I said on another channel I, I, I can't wait for the day that I don't have to talk about him yeah. um, and talk about different styles of football and different ways that we've played the game and in-game management fuck me I'm, I'm T- turning them out there, aren't I? But um, <laughs> but yeah, so good. Um, hopefully, George Earth is well as well. Yeah. And yeah, one thing left to say: Come on, you guys.